God. That timing. How's it going, Adam? Thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Getting close to that two-year mark. Dude, we're super close to that two-year mark. That's amazing. Oh, yes. Welcome back. Oh, and Hunter320, thank you for the super chat as well. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, we always do streams at this time, Forestry Science. I've just been uh, sick recently, so we haven't been streaming as much. But this is my normal time. This is when the crow usually does the uh, live streams. Let's uh, jump into a latent server and see if we can find anything cool. We're going to do a variety of things today, guys. We're going to do a little bit of multiplayer hunting. We're going to do some great one grinding. We're going to do maybe some seeker deer grinding as well, since you guys uh, enjoyed the seeker deer hunt. We're just going to kind of play it by ear, do whatever we can, and uh, get some trophies, hopefully. Hopefully get some trophies today. Let's go with a different loadout. Let's do... Honestly, let's use the 7 mil. We haven't used it that much recently, so might as well. Let's get that 243 handgun as well. There we go. And then the 22 Virant. You were kicked from the server. Fantastic. Well, we're off to the... Uh, we're off to a great start. Off to a... Great, great start. How's everybody doing? Hey, Ziggy. Hey, Raid. Hey, uh, Cheese. Daniel. Alexi. Um, Abigail. Fishing with Jayton. John Pro. French Fry. Alex. Landon. RT. Coins. Reed. Uh, Forestry. Josh. Jesse. How's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing great. Off to a great start, though. Getting kicked from the very first server that we join. What about this one? Can we, can we not get kicked from this one? Awesome, guys. Good to see that you are all doing great. Also, what did you guys think of today's uh, video? I know it's quite different than what we normally do, as I, I usually don't use a face cam, but I feel like we had to do it. I feel like I had to do it with the kaleidoscope goggles, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Adam! Oh my gosh, dude. Coming in with the insane support. My gosh, you absolute legend. Holy, that's insanity. Thank you so much, dude. I will not be out donoed. I uh, it, it would appear so. It would appear that you will not be out donoed. My gosh, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's very generous of you. Very, very generous. I mean, it's an open lobby uh, RT. I'm just doing um I'm just jumping on random servers. I don't open my own map because uh, not everybody is courteous of like need zones and a lot of times people will just willy nilly delete them, you know? So yeah, that's why I don't really open up my own unless it's a map that I never hunt. But we are joining like random multiplayer servers right now, so if you find the server, feel free to jump in. Glad you liked it, Noah. Glad you guys all liked it. It was a fun one. It was a fun video. You expected me to have blonde short hair? Huh. I wonder what I would look like with short blonde hair. I probably wouldn't look like Scarecrow, that's for sure. I'm pretty happy with how that video turned out, though. I spent probably like an hour and 15 minutes editing that. And I think it turned out pretty good. Is there going to be any force tonight? Possibly, man. Possibly. I got to record a video on American Marksman, so I don't know if I'm going to do the force tonight. I got to get the American Marksman video recorded. Oh, also, guys, something really awesome. The American Marksman developers uh, reached out to me, and they gave me some in-game currency so that I can show all the content off to you guys. And they also, they also gave me some codes that I can give away to you guys. That way, you guys can get some extra in-game currency as well. Um, they gave me a limited amount of them, so it will be done as like a giveaway style format. Most likely in that American Marksman video that I plan to record later today. But it's really cool that they, uh, that they decided to reach out and actually are watching the content on American Marksman. It's cool.
And while I was uh, chatting with them, I asked about uh, non-typicals, if they're ever going to add non-typicals into the game, and... While we didn't get a confirmation if non-typicals will come to American Marksman, when I showed like the images and talked about them a little bit, they said that they could easily add those to the game. So that's honestly really awesome to hear. I hope they go through with it. I hope they add them in the game because that would make it have so much more replay value if there's a really, if there's really rare long-term trophies to look for like non-typicals, you know? Uh, to be honest, I don't know, uh, Titanus. I don't know how their scoring system works. I'm still pretty new to the game. have not played a lot of American Marksman yet. I've played maybe five or six hours. But that's still not enough to really know, like, all the ins and out of everything. First kill of the day. Level 3, Roosevelt Elk. Beautiful. I want to try and get down to this lake. This is usually a pretty good one. I plan to, uh, Cod God, I do plan to shoot the next great one with the kaleidoscope goggles. I think that'd be pretty incredible. Yeah, Coop, I'm feeling a lot better. As you can probably tell, I can actually talk pretty much normal now. A little bit stuffy sounding still, but I'm doing way better. You just taxi 100 and up? Gotcha, dude. Gotcha. I don't know. I've had some below 100 that looked really big. That I ended up taxing anyway, like a couple really nice mule deer. Hey, Ace, it's going good, man. What platform is American Marksman on? It's on phones. It's Android and iOS. It's a uh, completely mobile hunting game. Oddly enough, though, it's actually really good. I'm sure a lot of you that have not played American Marksman are used to, like, all mobile games just being filled with ads and pay-to-play features that where essentially you got to buy stuff in order to compete. This is the first hunting game where it's not like that. There's very minimal ads. The only time you get an ad is at the end of a hunt when you exit the uh, hunt and go to the main menu. And you can earn everything without ever spending a penny. It's actually really nice the way they've set it up. So I'm pretty impressed with it so far. And it's the closest thing to call the wild on a phone, to be honest. Nice to see, like, an open-world hunting game coming to mobile. So cool. Hey, Raring, how's it going? Yeah, definitely French Fry. I noticed the really nice-looking mule deer are harder to find. Hey, Hayden, I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good as well. Hey, Tucker, how's it going, dude? American Marksman should add calls. I... I don't know if they're going to, but yeah, that would be cool. That would definitely be nice. I think they could add a lot of stuff into the game. It's still very early, right? Like, they just released it. I could only imagine there's going to be some really good content updates over time. Because it actually seems like these developers care. And from what I've been told by a lot of, uh, a lot of you guys in the comments and also by my brother, is that uh, that's the reason people liked their other games that they released, is because they actually did care, and they actually uh, released updates that everybody wanted. So I'm really, really excited for American Marksman to update more and see just what the future for it's going to be like, because it's off to a really good start. Nice, Ziggy. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. Yeah, exactly, Wacky, which is really nice. And then if you do their premium, then you get no ads at all. But, like, you don't even need the premium to have a good time because there's virtually no ads anyway. It's great. Yeah, Landon, that's what I've heard. 
I, I've heard a lot of good things about that game. A lot of people have uh, told me that it was a really good game, and that's why they were excited for this one. It's cool to see, you know. You know what else would be cool to see? A diamond. But will we get it? Who knows? We got black-tailed deer in this area. I wouldn't mind uh, chasing after some black-tailed deer at some point. Ooh, that's a good level 4 elk. Let's actually take that guy down. That's a nice bull. Nice, we nailed him. Beautiful. What animal is the easiest to get diamond? Um, mountain lion's a pretty easy one. So is the wildebeest and the ibex species. How many great ones do I have in total? 27. I've actually got a great one grind lodge tour coming out in a day or two, guys. I went ahead and recorded that and I'm excited to release it. It's going to include an absurd amount of great ones and super rares and all that type of stuff. All uh, into one lodge. RT found a level 5. Holy. Now remember guys, whenever you're in multiplayer, don't call out the stuff that you see. You never quite know when somebody else in the session could try to steal it. You gotta be careful. I have had people steal trophies from me before because uh, somebody called out what it was. So you gotta be careful when you find something cool in multiplayer. Um, I believe 481 is diamond. And you're a rabbit den that you missed uh, the rabbit from a few times, and now the den is gone. What happened? Uh, the dens kind of disappear and then reappear ace. I don't know why they do it, but they sometimes... They sometimes delete and then... Return. Um, oh! Um, Diamond for Roosevelt is... 381. Sorry. Or is it 380? It's either 380 or 381. I read that wrong. Yes, albino pronghorn is very rare. That is a very rare thing to find. First time it was a gold wildebeest. Nice, Ziggy. That's awesome. Those things are cool. 369. What a giant. Look at that beast. We're off to a good start, guys. Off to a very good start. Where's the other one, though? Did we even get vitals? Yeah, we definitely did. But where did he run off to? I mean, I guess he's over here. I'm not all of them, Ziggy. If I've got a bunch of a diamond, then I don't usually tax it. Like, Whitetail, I only tax if it's super special looking. Same with Red Deer. Most of the species that have great one grinded heavily, I only tax uh, the best looking ones. But if it's something that I don't have a lot of, then I will tax it always. Like, uh, if I got a Diamond Roosevelt, I'd be taxing it immediately. Alright, let's see if we can find something along the river. Um, there is no known max score french fry. The biggest we've seen is 520. And that was like an absurdly high scoring one. I'm new to video editing. What program do you like for videos and or shorts? I use Filmora. Um, Filmora, Filmora is one of the like most simplified editing softwares that I've used. That also gives you a very large amount of options for editing. I edit all my videos with Filmora. 
and they also have a bunch of like tutorials on how to do everything within the uh, the program. So it's one of those things where if you can't figure out how to do something, you can go to their channel and they probably have a guide for it. So it's a really, uh, really helpful software. You've seen a 522 in someone's lodge. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. He's bugged. Oh no, RT. Feels bad, man. That's very unfortunate. It happens though. That's part of multiplayer. Multiplayer has been known to be kind of uh, finicky at times. Oh no, you're right. The stream is lagging. Oh gosh. We haven't had a lag spike in ages. What happened? No. It's still lagging. Oh gosh. It's still freaking lagging. No. Why is the lag so bad? Is it good now? Okay, it's good now. Refresh your stream, guys. Refresh the stream. It's looking better. Guys, if you didn't know, um, the ATVs don't show... Oh, he left. Well, now we'll never know. The, um... The ATVs don't show on the map sometimes in multiplayer, so he was probably just driving an ATV. He's level 16 and his map looks fine. I doubt he's cheating. Oh wait, actually that was the wrong person. Jupiter's the host, never mind. I got that confused. I thought Dom was the host for some reason. Oh, that's not good, Timothy. I don't know why it would be doing that, man. You had zero lag? Well, at least it was good for you, man. Because it seems like a lot of people were having lag. I was seeing a lot of dropped frames. At least you were able to see it clearly. It's going good, Cole. It's going really good. It's going good. It's going good, man. Uh, Pigster just got my first diamond seek it here. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congrats. That is super cool, my dude. Yeah, that's not good, Timothy. I don't, I don't know why it would be doing that. That's definitely not normal. I would probably report that to the hunter's support. They're really the only ones that could help you with that. And even then, it's questionable as to whether or not they'll be able to. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of bugs that just require an update. I know a lot of people that had a uh, major bug and then the next time the game updated they were fine, so sometimes that's all it takes. Hey Flanky, how's it going man? Hope you're doing good. 
I'm probably RPG. I mean, you can kill a caribou with one hit on Wave Hunter. You just gotta aim for the lungs, and it will die. Uh, depending on the gun, that will depict how quickly it dies. Oh, we're just running the river, Stevens. Just running this river right here. Hey, Tony, how's it going, man? It was wild, uh, Duxton. Like, I was trying my best to just do it without, without getting affected. And yeah, those kaleidoscope goggles, they really make you dizzy. Like, I was super dizzy. It was hard to see. It was hurting my eyes. Probably not going to use them for anything besides killing our next great one. We'll kill the next great one with those kaleidoscope goggles, but that's it. It's fine, RT. You're heading in a different direction than I am anyway. Just looking at them made you spin. Imagine wearing them, Duxton. Imagine wearing them for a full video. Do you have every DLC? I do, Raring. Didn't get a notification? Sounds about right, Tron. That's typical YouTube for you. Typical YouTube. Doing what they do best, not doing what they're supposed to. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely, Duxton, definitely. TTK, thank you for the super chat. Can't say, but how you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing real good. I hope you're doing good as well. Appreciate you stopping by, even if you can't stay. We're just trying to get some trophies in multiplayer real quick. What gun can you use for lion? Um, There's a lot of guns you can use for lions. I would say 300 Magnum is probably your best bet. It is the best overall balanced gun for lions. You got four shots, you've got um, bolt action, and it's got a lot of power. Uh, the 338 is a single shot, so it doesn't really work nearly as good, but it does drop them quicker. And then you got the 470, but that thing's got limited range, so I definitely recommend the 300. Bunch of elk over there. Well, hello there. How you guys doing? Silly little elk just sitting there. No bulls, though. Let's check up here real quick. I think they can be there still. Uh, in some ways, Kaylee. I feel like there's always a couple things that are in a bad state in Call of the Wild. And then there's other things that are in good states. <laughs> it's just kind of the, uh, the life cycle of Call of the Wild. Something gets fixed. Something else breaks. Where else can we find elk? I think we've checked most of the lakes here. Uh, there's these over here. You know, I think it's time we go to another server. Uh, what map should we go to, guys? What do you think? Austin, thank you for the 11 months. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Nice, Ron. What is Whitetail drink time? They start drinking at 8, I believe. I believe it's 8 to 12. Uh, Tiaboroa. 
Africa, Africa, Hirsch, Revon Tuli, Yukon, Yukon, SRP, Revon Tuli, Africa, Abaroa, Revon Tuli, Africa, Yukon, Africa, New England. I mean, it seems like it's Yukon and uh, Verhonga. I see more votes for Verhonga, though, and I like Verhonga more, though, so we're going to go to Verhonga. For what, though? What do we hunt for? I mean, I suppose we could just run around the fields and try to find some stuff feeding. Or we could go at lion time. Honestly, we could go at lion time and then not hunt the lions. Like, walk around the fields because nobody's going to be walking around the fields when there's lion time. So I think we'll just roam around in the fields and just find whatever we find. Scrub hair? I mean, if we find them, then we find them, you know? Ooh. Ah, you know, we gotta go check it. We gotta go check the good spot for lions first. Yeah, Flanky, let's look for a, let's look for a giant male Gamsbach. I wouldn't mind that. Those things are pretty rare. Hey, Deegan, it's been pretty good. Hope you're doing good as well. Oh, no, Cole. That's not good, man. I am so sorry to hear that. Yeah, maybe, Timothy. I might do a little bit of Quattro. I have been kind of wanting to get another, um... What's it called? I've been wanting to get another Roe Deer trophy, so... Wouldn't mind doing a little Quattro. Uh, no, Ziggy. As with everything, it's just on hold. There's a lot of content to make. So, you know, we gotta switch it up. As you could imagine, if every stream is the same thing, it does get a little bit boring, so... We gotta switch it up. That's why we've been bouncing between a lot of stuff recently. Shot a diamond boring the intestines. Oh no, dude. That's unfortunate to hear. You know what happens to the best of us, though? Everybody makes mistakes. Unfortunate, Flanky. How long do you go onto your stream? Wait, are you saying how long are we going to stream today? I don't know. Probably for like two to four hours, depending on how how much fun we're having. First stream I've been to in a while. Got pretty bored after finally got my great one. Was nervous it would happen, and it did, so rip. Yeah, that can happen for sure, CC. Like, once there's nothing left to grind for, then... It does, uh, you do sometimes feel like you're not really interested in playing, you know? Totally normal. That's why I always set, like, absurdly high, um, that's why I always set absurdly high, like, goals for myself. Like, for the Whitetail, I've got the goal of getting the typical Rack Great One, and that has kept me grinding through countless Great One grinds. Because that's the one thing I want, and it doesn't want to show up. No rares yet, Coop. 
We killed a couple good-sized Roosevelt elk, but that has been about it so far. No rares, no diamonds, no great ones, but we're still really early in the stream. We'll definitely find something today, I'd imagine. Oh, no, Gavin. Yeah, that's rough. That's really rough to lose a uh, grind like that. Got a couple lions down there. What great one should you go for today? How about... How about the Red Deer, Easton? Hey, Sonaldo, I'm doing good, man. I hope you're doing good as well. When your great one moose grinding and the thing that you find is an albino musk deer next to an albino moose happened to you a week ago. That's amazing, dude. That is a really cool thing to find. Especially side by side as well. That's awesome. Oh, there's one close. What direction is it running? This way. And it's just a five. And a seven. Bye, Mr. Lion. Nice, Timothy. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, it's really cool to find for sure. My favorite trophy, Renee? Um, I don't even know. I've got a lot of trophies that I like. It's really hard to pick one. Um, The Melanistic Pheasant is beautiful. Melanistic red deer are beautiful. And then, of course, all the great ones look amazing, too. Hey, Maddox, how's it going? All right, nothing there. Let's uh, go down here and then run north. Um, Bart, thank you so much for the membership as a legendary crow. Really appreciate it. Just got my red deer. Great one. Thanks for the tips. Nice. That's awesome, dude. Congrats. Really uh, appreciate the support as well. Have we got the live chat on? I don't, Duck. Let me get that on. Thank you, Duck. Always coming in with the reminders. Uh, to be honest, I don't really care, Caleb. We're not really racing, you know? Some people may perceive it as a race just because we're very similar sized channels, but I never have ever uh, competed with anybody on the platform. I'm just doing my own thing, making the content that I enjoy making. I'm just thankful that you guys enjoy it and watch it. Uh, yeah, there is a Melanistic Red Deer in game. There isn't in real life, though. In real life, they don't exist. Uh, no, Bard, I haven't. I've never really kept up with that series, to be honest. No, Doc, no trophy so far. Not a single trophy in sight. Hopefully, uh, by the end of the day, we will have something cool, though. We're just uh, kind of roaming around, seeing what we can come across. Can any animal be albino? Not any animal, but most animals. Most of them can be uh, albino for sure. But there's some that aren't albino. 
Like, for example, there is no albino mallard duck. Thank you, duck. Hopefully we do have some good luck, dude. Hopefully we will get very good luck today. Thank you, Hunter. Really appreciate it, dude. Oh, and that reminds me. We will do a 100k stream soon. I got sick the second that we hit 100k. And so I haven't been able to do the 100k 12-hour stream. But we will do it. I promise. We will do it eventually. And it will be probably like four or five hours of Call of the Wild. And then after we'll do like four or five, or we'll do like probably four to seven hours of Sons of the Forest, depending on how long I'm able to go on with it. We'll, uh, we'll do a lot of fun stuff with the stream though. It'll be a good one. Yeah, French Fry, we're going to do like 12 hours. It's going to be a wild stream. Um, no coins, but I can get it at some point. It is a free game, so... I'll probably get it one of these days. Oh, that reminds me. Something else I might do with the 12-hour stream is a little bit of golf it. Because you guys seem to really enjoy the golf it streams. They always end up really hilarious. Little Springbok, okay. Nothing rare or diamond in there. I don't, Timothy, no. Um, Bart, if you haven't seen today's video, my face was in the video. Um, yeah, Sam, I'm going to be doing a video on it in a couple of days. Going to be doing a video trying to grow um, some Sitka deer. Not going to spoil if we successfully did grow them or not, but... You can expect a uh, video on Way of the Hunter soon. I would, Jackson, but like there's just no more... There's not really anything left for me to grind for with the Red Deer. I already got every single rack, and there's only one fur type available, so... Until they add more fur types or antlers, there's really... Um, no reason for me to go back to Red Deer. Bro, some lettuce is very nutritious. It is. It is indeed. Very nutritious. Hello, little Springbok. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, don't worry about that too much, Jackson. I got my first uh, diamond at level 51. Um, any map that has the species, Easton. So any map with whitetail, you'll have a chance of getting the whitetail great one. Any map with red deer, you would have a chance of getting a red deer great one. Any map with black bear, same thing, same with moose. Yeah, just a little bit, Sam, you know, just, just a little bit, just a little bit. Or a lot bit, you know, a little, little lot bit, little bit, lot, lot, a little bit, all of the above. Oh, 
Honestly, guys, not really feeling for hunger right now. I think we'll jump onto Yukon since you guys want to see Yukon. Hey, pizza, how's it going? Hirschfeld and Sam? I mean, maybe at some point. Uh, no, Perkinator, I haven't. Uh, what game is that? Not really familiar with it at all. All right, where do we want to go? 554. What, what drinks at this time? I don't even know. I think bears, maybe? Gotcha, Perk. I mean, maybe we'll try it eventually. Yeah, we could do Silver Ridge next. You just got trolled by a gator. Oh, no. I am sorry to hear that, dude. It happens, though. Can't win them all, you know. Uh, probably not, Bart. Today's stream is most likely going to be like three or four. We might do an evening stream, though, on Sons of the Forest, so we'll see. I got to get some recording done first, but, uh, then we will probably jump on Sons of the Forest if I get the recording done in time. Yeah, we will try, Milo. I'll try to. That just means it has really good genetics, Sonaldo. So the higher the genetics, the better chance that they'll make five star. Because uh, you could kill a one star mature that has like 10% genetics, you know? That is just a measure of how good their genetics are, not their, uh, not their age. Later, Landon. What's my main grinding gun? Um, for a lot of the great ones, I use the 308. The only one that I wouldn't is the bear. For bears, I grind with the 300. What about Moose? Moose would be the 300 as well. Always got to pull out the trusty 300 Magnum on those uh, larger animals. Hey, we got Caribou. Nice. I forgot that Caribou are drinking. Oh, I thought that was a five. I thought that was a five, but it's just a big four. Gosh, there's so many caribou here. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. You love to see it, man. You love to see it. Let's get this guy. Smoked him. That's a decent four, but not huge.
I don't see anything else along here that's too impressive. Yeah, nothing else too crazy. Um, not necessarily he boy. It, it can be different for everybody. As you would imagine, I've got a lot of hours in the game, so I know a lot more about like the best ways to search for diamonds. But early on, obviously you're not going to have played the game much, so you won't have as much experience. So it, it's something that comes with time. The more you play the game, the more you'll learn about the ways to get diamonds. And then you'll start seeing more of them. Really all comes down to knowledge of where to look, right? Like, uh, knowing all the drink zones for every animal. That helps greatly with just seeing more animals in general, and the more you see, the more chances you'll see diamonds. I didn't get my first diamond till level 51. And I didn't really start getting diamonds consistently until I started doing YouTube. Because when I started doing YouTube, I started putting a lot more hours into playing the game every day. Ah, uh, Cameron, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. I've been good, man. I've been good, Cameron. Thank you so much for that super chat. Um, I uploaded it today, Landon. If you haven't seen it, it's already uploaded. I think it turned out pretty good as well. Got your first diamond yesterday and you're at level 30? Nice, that's awesome. That is super awesome. Isn't the Dom guy the one that everybody was saying was cheating? There, we'll just get rid of him. Piebald Whitetail on your New England map. Nice, Easton. That's awesome. Wait, what, Duck? That's ridiculous. That can happen? Are you kidding me? That's absurd. Got a great one, Red Deer, before you got a diamond. That's crazy, Cash. That is very lucky. Crazy luck. Yeah, Casey, we are in multiplayer. We've been joining random multiplayer servers. Oh, really, Sam? That's crazy. I didn't actually know that. Oh, nice, Sam. Yeah, it, it, it was a fun video to make. It was a very fun video to make. To be honest, it's probably one of the more fun videos I've made as of recent. I thoroughly enjoyed every second of it. Um, where did we shoot this thing? I think we missed it. I think it's over here. Maybe? Maybe not? But yeah, it's right there. How did I pass that thing? I bet, Sam. Yeah, that's crazy. I was going to say, that's something I've never heard of, so. You messed up a 270 buck yesterday? That is very unfortunate, Aiden. I'm sorry to hear that. 
345. Oddly enough, probably about the same score as some trolls. Because they just troll that bad. Let's do a quick little uh, time reset. I want to go for some Grizzly if we can. I feel like that'd be fun. We got to go to like what? 3 a.m.? We'll do 4.30. Yeah, Chase, I will be making another American Marksman video. Uh, the developers actually reached out to me and gave me some currency in game so that I can actually buy all the stuff and make content with it for you guys to see. That way you guys get kind of a preview of some of the end game stuff that uh, you can grind up towards. So I'm very thankful for the uh, developers for, uh, for doing that for me. That's really cool of them. And uh, they also gave me some codes to give out to you guys that will give you 100k cash as well as 500 gold in game. So the next video will most likely include uh, a giveaway for the codes. Which is going to be pretty sick. Really, uh, really awesome of them to do that. There was a small update changing some gun prices in American Marksman. Oh, nice, Casey. Uh, how much did it change it by? Did it increase or decrease them? Oh, yeah, I feel you on that, Sam. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go recently with the, uh, the Hoenn Tour currently going. Have you uh, managed to snag any shinies so far? I ended up getting a few of them yesterday. And then I've got, I think, already three today. Just kind of playing as I've been editing and playing as I've been streaming. Yesterday I had some crazy luck with Rayquaza. I got two shinies within five raids. And then uh, had a few shinies throughout the day. Two different unknowns and then also a shiny trap inch. And then today I've got the Lunatone, the Soul Rock, and another unknown. Oh yeah, I saw your Barboach. Um, I saw that one. And that's awesome that you got Zangoose. That's a rare one. Zangoose is a very rare shiny. Oh yeah, Bart, I get what you're saying. Yeah, like back when back when the game was first out and everybody was playing it and everybody was like flocking to specific areas to try and get a really rare Pokemon. That was crazy times. I remember when the game first released, there was millions of people across the world that would just like be playing all day and you'd just see like a giant group of people going to one area. Pretty crazy. Yeah, Chase, I saw um, my brother killed a couple of them and showed them to me, and they look really good. I am very impressed with American Marksman. Oh, also, guys, I talked to the developers about adding in non-typicals. I asked them if they would ever add them, and um, I showed them some images of non-typical mule deer. And though there's no confirmation as to whether they'll actually add them, um, they did say that it's something they could easily add to the game. So I'm really hoping that they will add non-tips. Imagine if American Marksman gets non-tips before Call of the Wild. That would be kind of crazy. <laughs> that would be kind of wild. All right, nothing here yet. This is bear time, right? Crazy and kind of sad, I know. We, I, I would have thought that Call of the Wild would have them by now. I mean, it's long been one of the most requested additions to the game and they just never add it. I mean, I guess it'd be kind of difficult to implement them in a way that works really well so I could see why maybe they're hesitant to do it 
without making sure that it's perfect. But still, come on, we want it. We want to see the non-typicals in Call of the Wild. Really badly. I so badly want to see them. I mean, they could always just make the non-typicals like the great one if they really have to, right? Like, they could just do, let's say, like, five or six different non-typical racks that are not as rare as a great one, but harder to find than a diamond. And, uh, then just put true racks on it, you know, so it bends in different directions. They don't have to make it super randomly generated like classics non-typicals. We just need something else to grind for. Something that is similar to rares in terms of the rarity. Something that is completely random and can't be uh, can't be manipulated at all. It'd be nice to have another trophy to look for. We got wolves over there. Oh, Grizzly drink from 20 to 0 now? Really, Mason? I did not know that. Honestly, that's kind of unfortunate. That is kind of unfortunate that they drink at 20. At least before you could partially see them in the daytime. But if they start at 20, that's just... Ooh. Oof. Not the best. But I guess it makes sense because they are a bear species and black bear are the same way. Oh, just got a shiny on Pokemon. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, Sam, I just got a shiny low tad. <laughs> Hilarious. Right as we were talking about them. Yeah, Bart. Oh, I feel ya. As, as a dad, my sleep schedule is like non-existent. I get... I rarely get a consistent sleep schedule. Hmm, not bad. It's a two-star as well. Not too bad. A two-star shiny low tad. But they added turkeys. True, they did add turkeys, you know? Hey, the train's here. Yes, he boy, I do. I've got a, uh, I've got a daughter. She's almost two. Do it, Tony. Do it. I mean, right now is the, um, uh, the Pokemon Go Tour Hoenn, the Hoenn Tour from like the the Hoenn region of Pokemon, right? And so it's it's slightly boosted shiny rates. There's a bunch of like rotating habitats with different species popping up. And uh, different events. There's, they added in the primals, primal Groudon and primal Kyogre. So, lot. This is definitely the time to get back into it if you wanted to, Tony. This is day two of the uh, of the event. Yeah, I I did too. Extreme. I was hoping there would be more. Yeah, Sam. I am doing the masterwork research. I have completed. Two of them. I got the 208. I got the 385 in the Hoenn region. I just need to do the Johto and Kanto regions now. What level am I in Pokemon Go? Level 41. Um, I would be level 42, but I haven't completed the task required to level up. Hey, shush. We're after grizzlies, not caribou. You've had your shine. You've had your shine time. 
your spotlight time. It's time for the Grizzlies. I have not shot a grizzly bear in Call of the Wild in a long time. Kinda hoping there's some big males over here. Um, it shouldn't be timed, Sam. If it's the, uh, the master, the masterwork research, then it's not timed. You have as much time as you need to complete that. It's just that it's easier to complete it now because of the event, right? So you can get part of the tasks done. That's really the only thing, uh, that is limited, I guess, is... The Hoenn Tour. But... You can complete it in as much time as you need to. No, it's definitely not timed. It, it, it lasts forever. It's a paid research, so they never put expiration timers on paid research. Unless it's for a specific event, but then it would be in the other tab. It would be in the, um... It would be in the Today tab, right? What's it called? It, it would say timed research, right? It, it'll say timed research when you purchase it, if it's a timed research. Where's that mail? Oh, right there. It's a five once again. Lots of level five bears, man. Yeah, nothing crazy. Might be able to check over here. Yeah, nothing too wild. Can Grizzly be in this area? I don't know. We'll check down here. Do it, Sam. Do it. Oh, uh, I feel you on that, Tony. I feel like I'm constantly needing to upgrade it. You better start uh, slapping some of them on gyms then. No worries, Creed. How's it going? What is the difference in gun stores in American Marksman? I think it's just the visual look of it, uh, Arcano. I'm not actually sure, to be honest. I, I think it's just the visual look of the gun. Because I know you can put any of the attachments on there. On any of the guns. In the, like, uh, weapon modding. How do you get a great one, Whitetail? Just shoot lots and lots of male Whitetail. It's a random spawn, so just keep shooting them until one shows up. That's all there is to it, really. Oh, nice, Tony. Yeah, that's definitely one to keep. I believe you can pin it as well. I believe you can pin it before, um, before you send it, and it'll keep it in your postcard book. All right, let's do a quick little comment check on today's video, see how things are going. You should wear a scarecrow hat and straw hair and tell crows that they're trash at Call of the Wild. Amazing. Definitely gonna have to do that. <laughs> you got a diamond moose? Nice, Nathan, that's awesome. Oh, you can purchase it until the 20th. Yeah, that makes more sense, Sam. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, Briar, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing great today. Hope you're doing fantastic. Oh, 
Oh, mythical. Wow, that's a big one. Nice. That's crazy. I'm sorry, Brett. I only speak English, man. So there's no way that I could know what you're saying. What gun am I using? 300 Magnum, Toby. The good old 300 Magnum. Amazing rifle. Thank you, Creed. Oh, gotcha, Bread. Yeah, Jake, I typically just, um, whenever I'm doing Pokemon raids, I typically just join, uh, I'm in a, uh, Discord from one of the content creators that I watch, and he's got a, uh, he's got a channel in there that's just for, like, joining other people. Gosh, that's a big male. That is a big male. Maybe, Bart. Possibly. Possibly. Though I've done stuff similar to that before, so we'll see. What the? Hello, little harlequin? Uh, Briar, thank you so much for the super chat again. Really appreciate it. You're a goat crow? Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. As always. Oh! 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 Oh my gosh, legendary! Oh my gosh, yes, please make it! Oh my gosh! Oh no way! Oh no way! I've only got one diamond grizzly. I hope this thing makes it. Oh my gosh, no way, guys. No way! Level 9 Grizzly Bear. And we've got host, so we're good. We got host of the server. Holy. That's ridiculous. Don't troll, I know, right? Please don't troll. Oh, rest in pieces, RT. Defeated by gravity again. Rest in pieces. We're doing the slow creep back up there. We will see if we can get close enough. Oh. Okay, that one never spooked. It was just the legendary. We're going to take it extra, extra slow. It's close. It is super close. Oh my gosh. Where? Where is it? No, no, no. I didn't want to type.
That's him right there. How far is he? 264. Oh, that's not great. I think that we can do this, though. Come on, stand up. Oh, gosh, I don't like this angle. Oh, hi. That's a solid looking uh, caribou. Oh, don't do that. I think we got it. Oh my gosh, we got it. Let's go. We got it, guys. We got it. Holy. Let's go. Diamond potential bear down. Let's hope this thing makes it. Please let it make it. I will be so sad if it doesn't. Oh. That was a uh, very nerve-wracking kill. All right, later, Sam. Thank you for dropping in, as always. I don't know, guys. I don't. I don't know if it'll be a troll or not. It's hard to say. I don't even know what max score is, so. I don't even know what the minimum score is for diamond. I completely forgot. Please let this thing make it. I will be so happy if it does. Like I was saying, I've only got one diamond bear. I've got one troll as well. If this guy makes it, that's going to be so cool. That'll be amazing if it makes it. Definitely a vital hit. Definitely vitals. Come on. Let's see. Will he make it? Oh my gosh, it's a diamond. 6786. That's big. That is huge. Look at that monster. My second grizzly bear diamond of all time. The first one I got shortly after starting the channel, so it's been a very long time. Ended up getting a left lung hit, though that was quite a, uh, quite a sketchy shot. Almost went too high. But there he is. A diamond grizzly bear. Let's go. Let's go, guys. I uh, know the uh, caribou was a level four. Jeez. Already off to a great start on the day. That is going to be a cool thing to add to the lodge. I mean, honestly, at this point, we should probably do a little bit of great one grinding. We've done about an hour and 20 minutes of multiplayer hopping and finally got a diamond. So I'd say it's time we go try to get a great one as well. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, dude. All 
All right, let's get the grind a going. What is the best DLC or non DLC map? Uh, it will come down to personal preference, but I like Layton the best. Layton Lakes has always been a fun map for me. Always got a special place in my heart, you know? It's a very solid map. Is the orange coyote rare? No, that would not be rare. What do I think of Rancho? I think Rancho is a pretty decent map. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's kind of just in the middle, you know? Middle of the road map, in my opinion. It used to be better, and then they did the uh, population redistribution, and in my opinion, that just did not help Rancho at all. Hey, Cole, how's it going? What do I think the other rifles will be in the new weapon pack? Probably something bigger than a 308. That's really the only guess I've got because Jaxie was saying that the 308 was the, I guess, least exciting. He was saying that it's not the star of the show and that the other two are better. So I can only imagine it's going to be higher calibers. Really hoping that we get like a... Um, a large rifle, like a 416 bolt action. I would take like a 375 or a 338 bolt as well, but I would prefer to get a 416 bolt. I think that'd be phenomenal. Uh, the other one I'm going to imagine is probably a big gun as well. The question is, what big gun is it going to be? I know a lot of people want a 7 mil bolt action. A lot of people want a, like I said, a 375. A 7mm Mod 8 is also a very popular request that I see, so hopefully it'll be something along the lines of those. There we go, beautiful. Nice, Camden, that's awesome, man. That, that is really good. You're doing great. Doing great for sure. Now time to buy all the ammo. Hey, Hunter48, how's it going? Thank you, Lisa. Really appreciate it. Uh, no, Penguin Lover. New maps are always in June and December. Never any other time. You just got a great one, Whitetail. Nice, Rhonda. That's awesome. That is super cool. Five diamonds at level 20 is pretty crazy, Gold Boys. That's pretty good luck. Do you have any tips on... Or for the Whitetail grind on Rancho? Um... Yeah, try to prioritize the more open lakes. There's a lot of really brushy lakes that have whitetail on Rancho. Um, if possible, I would try to prioritize the lakes that are not brushy like, because the brush lakes just, they become very tedious to hunt, which can definitely make it not as enjoyable. At least for me. I've never been a fan of the super brushy areas in Call of the Wild. Wow, we actually got him. That was a weird angle, too. My favorite animal in Call of the Wild? Uh, my favorite animal is the red deer, but I enjoy hunting the whitetail more than I do the red deer. Whitetail are more fun to hunt. Red deer are, in my opinion, a cooler looking animal.
Hey, Reaper, how's it going? Okay, that other one did not die as far as I can tell, so we're not going to worry about it. I like how you typed your name at the beginning of your sentence, Reaper. But yes, my voice is a lot better. As you can probably tell, I'm much more close to normal. Got a piebald black-tailed doe today. Nice, Emad Rat. That's awesome. That's not a bad deer. That's a very good-looking buck, actually. What about a 22-250? That would be cool, Bowmaster. I would not mind that. I was feeling a lot better, SMG. In fact, my voice is back to normal, um, but I'm still a little bit plugged up. My nose is still a bit stuffed up, so it's still making my voice sound slightly different just because I can't really breathe through my nose very well. But yeah, other than that, we're doing a lot better. Oh, we need to add that grizzly to the diamond counter. There we go, 2142. Also, let me pull up my Great One Grinding stat sheet. Because I forgot to add the ones that I killed in today's video. There we go. We are currently 550 kills into this grind, 27,660 whitetail kills in total. I'm not sure, Hunter11. I don't know if I have. If it's not a rap song, then I probably have not heard it. Unless it's like a very mainstream one that's on like TV shows, then maybe I've heard it. You've definitely heard it, trust me, maybe. Like I was saying, if it's like on TV shows and stuff like that, then maybe I've heard it. But if it's not, then I probably haven't. What type of music do I like? I pretty much just listen to rap with some metal in there as well. I don't mind metal. Favorite rapper? An underground rapper named Cheta. You're level 22 with two melanistics, two piebalds, two albinos, a leucistic, and two diamonds. Not bad, dude. Not bad. That's really good, actually. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. I can agree with that. The two to four rifles are usually not very good in Call of the Wild, traditionally. The 223 is a prime example. Okay, definitely three bucks there at least so we can shoot one. Let's just boop him with the 300 so he doesn't go anywhere. Did not get that guy very good though. The DD's cool, Sasquatch. I've, uh, I've actually done a video with him before. Try getting a great one with the muzzle loaders. I've actually already killed a great one with both of the muzzle loaders. I killed a moose with the new muzzle loader and I killed a white tail with the other one. They seriously need to add rocket launchers? Um, I mean, that'd be interesting, I guess. I, I wouldn't exactly say I agree, but it'd be interesting. I have, I have no clue, Hunter48 doesn't ring a bell. If I'm being honest, guys, I don't pay attention to too much stuff outside of, like, YouTube and video games. And obviously, like, IRL fishing and hunting and, you know, my normal day-to-day -day life stuff like shopping and making content. 
I, I just don't have a lot of time outside of content creation and then like the normal like necessities of life. Boom. Thoughts on a new modern lever action. That could be an interesting idea, Luke. Are you talking like a full tactical looking one? Com complete with like rails and a suppressor and stuff like that? That would be pretty insane. Not gonna lie, I really do like modernized uh, lever actions. I do think they look really amazing. Super crazy looking. Yeah, definitely, Anti. That is something that I've really wanted. A lot of people have requested trail cams for a very long time. Hopefully one of these days they actually give them to us. Yeah, at least I do. I haven't been able to in a while, though, just due to... For the longest time, it was due to financial reasons, like I just couldn't afford to go hunting. Nowadays, I can afford to go hunting, but I just don't have the time. Like, you would be surprised how much time it takes to keep a YouTube channel uh, running with consistent uploads. It takes the majority of my day every day. But it's well worth it, as it's something I really love doing, and you guys enjoy the content as well, so I can't, I can't just disappoint you guys with less uploads. Gotta keep it going. And like I said, it's the most fun I have in the day. And not really anti. I mean, the thing about it is I can switch things up if I get bored about something, right? Like if I got bored of doing... Gaming content, I could always record fishing videos, or if I got tired of that, I could always record, um, other games, right? But I don't really ever get burnt out, no. And when you really, like, truly love something, that does help a lot with not getting burnt out. Like, for me, content creation isn't just a job. It's also my passion. Like, I've always loved and wanted to do YouTube, so it keeps it interesting for me. Like, every day I just remind myself, you know, this is something that I've always wanted to do and that I'm very lucky for even having the opportunity to do it. What about a great one, Blacktail? That is my most wanted great one of all time. If we get it, I will be overjoyed. Something about a great one, Blacktail, though, like, as cool as it would be, it would probably really suck to grind because Blacktail are very inconsistent in Call of the Wild. So it would probably be a situation like the Moose where it's a beautiful great one, but it's not the most fun to grind because Moose are kind of rough and they move a lot. A Blacktail would be the same thing. They would be moving a lot as well. The only thing that could really alleviate that issue is if they added Black Tilt to another map before giving them a great one. Yeah, pretty much, Johnny. Pretty much. Definitely the most useful range of uh, classes for sure. Hey, Nathan, how's it going? You take me bass fishing sometime? 
Well, if you can make the flight over to Oregon, then you know what? Let's do it. Because I have not uh, been bass fishing many times. Done primarily trout, salmon, steelhead, rockfish, stuff like that. And I think out of all of them, my two favorites are... Fishing off of the uh, jetties for rockfish and then also cutthroat trout. Cutthroat trout are amazing. They are such a fun fish to catch. You see, I would, Nathan, but uh, I kind of hate planes, so not going to happen. <laughs> I mean, maybe one of these days, like a massive road trip. That could be kind of cool to eventually do like a massive road trip, like fishing the country. Hard to say when I'll be able to do that, though. That would, that would have to be like a long-term goal for like after my daughter's older. Gosh, that's crazy, YGB. That's a monster trout. Really, honestly, of any species of trout, that would be a big one. Um, because you're probably hunting on the right side of the map, Lionel. The left side of the map is where the whitetail are. Left side has whitetail. Right side has blacktail. I will, uh, Jason. I'm going to be doing an American Marksman video soon. The developers uh, actually gave me some in-game currency so I could unlock all the stuff and make content for you. For all of you guys to see. And they also gave me some codes to give out for giveaways, so... We're gonna have an American Marksman video very soon. Ow! Wait, was she in front? I don't know what just happened there. Did I shoot through the buck and hit the doe, or did I did I miscalculate which one was in the front? Um, I don't want her to die, so we're going to back out. Last thing we need is a doe to die and mess up our herd. Do you have a new animal idea? Uh, yes, Lisa. I would love the pure David's deer. Still my most wanted animal. Ah, uh, yes, Caden, it is out. And it's really good. The game is even better than I expected. What about squirrels? Yeah, squirrels would be nice. Sandbar deer? I'm assuming you mean sandbar deer. Um, yeah, sandbar and russo would also be really nice. If they ever do Australia, I would imagine we'll get sandbar and russo. Still wish they had a tar. Me too, Dilly. New Zealand would have been the perfect map for that. I really don't know why they didn't do it. That guy should die fast. Should they add spearfishing to the angler? Um, the angler, they do like a catch and release only style, so they would never do spears. The angler has already, the developers of the angler have already said that they're only doing catch and release, so can't exactly release a speared fish. Oh yeah, Sons of the Forest is insane, Nathan. Best game I've played all year. Uh, easily game of the year. Unless something just ridiculous comes out, Sons of the Forest is the best game I've played all year. I 
I use Photoshop, uh, Swisserton. I use Photoshop for all my thumbnails. Definitely see two deer there. I think at least. Yeah, I did. So we have an extra buck here than normal. Ooh, smoked him right into a tree. What do you mean, Bluebird? Elaborate, please. Elaborate. There we go. And the other one. Wait, did we shoot the wrong buck? And now I guess it just looked different. I didn't ask for an apology, Bluebird. I asked for an explanation. Like, what do you mean? I'm not sure what you were responding to. Photoshop's the deer antlers so they look bigger. Ah, uh, yes, uh, we, uh... We gotta expand the antlers a little bit. Oh, well that's subjective, Bluebird, and it, it didn't release this year. I'm talking about of games that released to this year. Like, 2023 new releases, Sons of the Forest has to be the best one released. The detail and just the depth of the game is ridiculous. I don't know how they managed to make such an insane system of like crafting and building and just the amazing AI of the enemies, but they, they did something wonderful with that game. What's my favorite game? I don't know if I really have a favorite, favorite game, Blake, but um, some of my favorite games right now are Sons of the Forest, Escape from Tarkov, um, Call of the Wild, and of course, Ark Survival Evolved. And then Way of the Hunter is uh, coming back up as one of my favorites as well with this new map. Oh yeah, they definitely are, Tony. Like, uh, the caves are phenomenal. Uh, no, YGB, I haven't. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know too much about the Harry Potter series, so it's not really a game that has interested me that much because I, I know absolutely nothing about it. How did that first one hit the tripod? Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Completely ripped off there. Hey, wild man, how's it going? Uh, yes, I will kill the next great one wearing those goggles. 100%. I've seen so many uh, requests to do that, and I kind of wanted to already, so... We'll definitely do it. For sure. It'll make for an interesting kill. Um, this guy ran really far, so I'm not even going to worry about him. Got him. What am I hunting next and when? Not sure, uh, County Boys. It depends on how long we stream today. Yeah, Ark's an amazing game, Puma. I've been playing a bunch of Ark recently. Been playing lots of Ark, Sons of the Forest, uh, Call of the Wild, Way of the Hunter, and uh, Tarkov. Been playing a lot of games. Spamming in chat's not going to get me to play with you, Clips. That's not how it works. I can't just play with one person or else everybody else is going to want me to play with them. And that just would not be fair to everybody else. I've done streams on it before, Jake, and I've done one arc video.
That was a tree. Beautiful, just slapping trees like it's nothing. Nice, got him. How many how many white tail zones do I have? I've got 70 of them, Delexes. 70 of them. It's quite a lot of zones. Um, if you have a zone with one animal, there's really not much you can do of Alco. The only thing you could do is Either leave it, and then you know that you'll never have to check there again. Or, you could shoot the animal, and then a new herd should spawn somewhere random. Really comes down to whatever you would prefer to do in that situation, you know? Decent deer right there. Not a bad one. Nice, got him. We might, DJ, we'll see. But like I said, we're just gonna play it by ear. Kind of whatever we feel like going for. We did some multiplayer hunting earlier and killed a diamond grizzly, and now we are shooting some whitetail trying to work towards the next great one. Okay, let's blast this thing with the 300. For that exact reason, because I, I did not have faith in that angle. Do you like the original Blacktail Racks? Not really, Bluebird. They were unrealistic. Like, super unrealistic. Because Blacktail Deer are not a giant deer. They are a smaller version of a mule deer, essentially, because they are a subspecies of mule deer. So, no, I didn't really like the Legacy Racks for Blacktail. Not realistic at all. The True Racks are closer to real Blacktail, but they're still not great looking. To be honest, they've always just done the Blacktail dirty. They've never given them the, uh, the look they deserve. Very sad, man. Very sad. I don't really watch sports anymore, Lionel. I used to watch football, though. I did uh, watch football when I was a kid. But I haven't watched it in a while. What map am I using? This is Leighton Lakes, Tenley. Nice. We nailed that second one. I'm honestly surprised we got it. Maybe, Georgia. We'll see. We'll see, dude. Best map for making money? Um, Verhonga is really good if you hunt lions. Tiabaroa is really good as well. Oh, we did not claim that. 
Oh, there's a buck there too. Okay, let's get that buck. Uh, Tiamato is really good if you go for red deer or fallow deer. Holy. Hey, TDK, how's it going, dude? Welcome back. A floater here? Really? Oh, man. Just killed a diamond red reindeer with the muzzle loader. Nice, Gunner. That's awesome. Why aren't my males respawning consistently? I don't know, Leo. There's no way that I could know why. Most likely, they're going to different zones. They never don't spawn. Like, they never don't respawn. They always will be respawning. Um, it's just a matter of do they go back to the same zone or do they go to another zone? If they go to another zone, then... There's really nothing you can do. The only thing that I've been able to do is just hunt every single zone on my map until I figured out which ones were consistent. That involved hunting all 70 zones for a very long time and just kind of watching what each of them did, like watching how it reacted. I kept track of what zones always got their consistent respawns. I kept track of which ones lost deer every time. I kept track of like which ones randomly gained deer from another zone. And then I just made the most consistent ones my main zones. All right, let's go into, uh, let's go to our lodge and put up that grizzly. What are you talking about, Thane? Is that even, is that even a uh, sentence? No need to keep uh, apologizing, Clips. It's fine. Yeah, Rosies. I've been hunting in real life. Um, could one of the moderators bring up the PC specs command for uh, burrowing to see? Where are we going to put this grizzly, guys? I don't even know where I've got room. Do we have any bison that we could replace, maybe? I don't even know. I don't think so. I mean, I guess we could replace this Euro Bison right here. It's just a female, so. And the Grizzly's definitely more rare. That's so cool that we finally got another diamond one. That is so awesome. All right, guys, I got an idea. We're going to do something that we normally don't do that I think would be fun. Um, let's see. All right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream, but uh, if you guys want to, let's go over to dd 33 stream and say hi to him. I'll put the link in chat. He's streaming right now. Uh, let's go say hi to him real quick, guys. There is the link to Didi's channel. Let's go over and say hi to Didi. Um, but until the next stream, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. We're going to have a, another stream tonight, probably, or a video, one or the other. But until then, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.